Yes, baby. We are in here okay. lit, mash up, and go by KMC. It's in the building. I'm your host and Smoker Marie on Next Up Radio. Thank you so much for tuning in. We are here with KMC. Definitely. Woo. Yes. Yep. So KMC. Yes. 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 Okay. If you can change anything in your career, what would it be and why? If I could change anything, anything in my career, in I wonder career. what that will be, boy. Yes. What would it be and why? Hmm. Hmm. Make you go. Hmm. Wow. Yes. Um, that, that question, it might, it might sound kind of crazy and it might hurt some people. Mm-hmm. But I like to be honest. Okay. You see, if I was born in America, I think I would have done take my career to where I really wanted it to be. Mm-hmm. You know, but coming from a small island and doing um, our music, you yes. know, it has so much a uh, negative vibes around it, mm-hmm. and so much people trying to hold you back from yes, really going from where, where you, you want to go. Yeah. You know, so that uh, that's the advantage then. You know, but you know what? I'm here in the land of opportunities, yes. and I'm taking that career. Slowly but surely, to where yes. I want to go, you know, the billboard charts and the yes, I'm happy the Grammys for you. Yeah, those definitely, things. definitely. So the mashup and go, mm-hmm. um, right now is approved by a lot of the big radio stations. Wow. It's just a matter of time, and we're actually shooting a video for for this mashup and go. I mm-hmm. think probably Friday. Okay. Oh, this Friday coming. Yeah. Where are you planning on? Um, are you going to do it here in the states? Yeah. Or are you going to be in, okay in, in the US? Okay. Cool. Nice. Yeah, so we got a lot of we got a lot of interesting people in the video too. Mm-hmm. You know, like some NFL players, we got yes. a, some NBA players, and yeah. we got some really hot dancers. You know. Go on. Yes, yes, yes. Definitely, I can't wait so for that we are video. We're working. Yes, work it. Look, don't bother him. He's working. Don't yep. bother him. He's <laughs> working. Definitely. So, when you are performing at your best, what qualities or strengths come to mind when you're actually performing? Um, when I performing, I focus on my audience and then my mind don't go nowhere else but the people them in front of me who i'm performing to because i know they got to feed off of my energy yeah. and i am feeding off of theirs yes definitely. you understand they pay the money to come to the party to mm-hmm. see me <laughs> so i've got to give them a good show that's and that's right. what i do <laughs> <laughs> have you um who have you actually performed with uh, i perform with a lot of artists, uh, a lot um, of artists? From, okay. from rappers uh, mm-hmm. um from since the days where when Buster had his dreads. Yes, Buster Rhymes, yeah, yes. Um, all those um mm-hmm. what do they call them? Is boys to men. Boys to men, um, yes. Coming up the road, um Bow Wow. Bow Wow, yes. Um who again? Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg, yeah. Was the one who beat box again? Um, um Dougie, Dougie Fresh. Fresh, yes. Yes. Oh, listen, when Dougie Fresh was here, you see broke up? Yeah. Broke up was on stage? Yeah. Broke up. <laughs> broke up. Broke yeah. up. Broke up. Of yes. course. Right, and um, broke, broke up. I uh-huh. actually did a song with Broke Up Get about three here. months ago. Yeah. Oh, yes. yes broke I, um, up. Yeah, yes. that song is going to be out sometime soon. Uh-huh. He told me, um, when he called me, he told me he's looking to put it out soon. Yes. And um, I, I work with a lot of dancehall artists because I mm-hmm. did a lot of collaborations yes. with them. I did with like three music. collaborations with mm-hmm. Beanie Man. I work mm-hmm. with Bounty Killer. I work wow. with Shabarangs. I work with Sizzler. I work with um, Vibe Cartel. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. A lot so of you've worked with a lot of different yeah. artists. Yeah, a lot wow. of. When they go on YouTube and put up KMC, yeah, I'm just and typing another name. Yeah, everything come up. Yes. Look at Birdman. Uh-huh. I look at Mahombi. Yeah. All those guys. Definitely. Yeah. So what message do you want your audience to get from your music? Um, The message that I put it out there is I try to make it positive. Okay. Right? And fun. So it's either you do a happy song where you're just partying, we're having a time, you know? Or something that you can learn from also. Yeah. You understand? But I try to stay away from the obscene languages in, in, in music. Yeah. I don't use no obscene in my music. I don't um, bash gays and yeah. those kind of things. Right. Know? Don't bash yeah, people. I, right. Yeah, I keep my music yes, happy, fun, yes, right. loving. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Meaningful. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I, I want to be able to sing songs that whatever you're going through, you can pull out a KMC and play. That's right. That's right. And you know what? This is a good thing. You're so far, listening to your music, it puts me in a space where I don't have to think about any stress, any bills, yeah. anything I'm going through. <laughs> that's correct. And that's exactly what I want. I just love music. I just love 
I tell you, music is the piece to my soul. Mm -hmm. So just for you being an artist, thank you so much for sharing your craft with me here on Next Up Radio. So give us one word that describes you as an artist. Me as an artist, yes, one, one word. word. One word. Yo, that you asking you. some some <laughs> different question. I, I like that. One word well, that describes me as an artist. <laughs> hmm. I'll just say different. Different. Yes. yes. Different. Yeah. I'm, different. I'm different. I'm, I think different is good. I'm different. Yeah. I'm different. Hey. I'm cool. You know, I, I'm not a yes man. I don't bow to foolishness. Yes. You know. I well, I already picked that up. I already, I could tell. <laughs> yeah. Already, already, already. So wh when is your next show? Like, do you have any show uh, tours yeah, coming um, up? Tell us about it. Yeah, well, I got a lot of shows coming up for um, the Labor Day celebration. Yes, here. it's be here. Yes, mm -hmm. um, I'm going to be on about three trucks. <laughs> <laughs> on the How Labor you going to be on Wait a minute. How are they going to put you on three trucks? Yeah, man. You're going to go to move from one? Yeah. Wait, hold Jump up. off. <laughs> you sing here. Jump off the truck. Find the next one. <laughs> and that's how we do it. We, we okay. do it like this all the time for a wow. long time. You know, I, I am I, I am used to like doing seven shows in one night. Oh, KMC, <laughs> are you serious? Yeah. Seven shows yeah, like in when, one like night? Like when in Trinidad, oh. when we have Carnival. Yeah. I did yeah. seven shows in yeah. one night. And let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. Every night you're doing shows. Right. And every night is more than three shows. You understand? Wait, how long Even does carnival last in, in, in Trinidad? Is it a uh, month? It starts it start like the carnival season starts mm -hmm. from um, Boxing Day, which is the, tw um, the day after Christmas. Okay, and then when is it over? Right, and um, every week, half parties everywhere, all inclusive, this, that, uh -huh. all about. And then coming down to the last two weeks, every night. But is it from like December up until when? January? Uh, yeah, or? Fe most of the time it's February. Fe what? February. So you're going through the end of December and January, doing shows, songs billing. It's crazy. It's all about partying. Wow. All about partying every week. And February, coming closer, uh -huh. that is when the foreigners start to come down into the country. Wow. You know, and all the hotels book up. And for the last two weeks of that time, uh -huh. it's every night. Have shows everywhere. Wow. All over the place, wow. all over the town, some countryside, some. I know you don't get central. no rest, right? No rest. No, no, you sleep, you, you, your life turned from like um, sleeping in the night uh -huh. to sleeping in the day. So you have to have all your all curtains your real dark. That's right. <laughs> that's you know, right. so that, that's where I came from, you know? Uh -huh. it's, it's, we are like a party country. Yes, just having fun is, and party, yes. party, party. And well, after the carnival season, mm -hmm. you know, it, it goes straight up to where. Um, the carnival Monday mm -hmm. and Tuesday. Oh, wow. So it's like all the carnivals yes. that have one day, no. We yeah. have two days. The Monday two days. and okay. Tuesday. Whole day, mm -hmm. night time. Right? So what is this thing called? Now, don't... Okay, I'm trying to see if I, ha if I can say it right. Jubilee. Am I saying it right? Jubilee? Jubilee. Juve. 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 Oh, that's, that, that's like... um. So what is that? That's all... That's all mass, like um, like jab jabs and mud and oil. And these things, where you paint up oh. yourself, where you, you muddy down yourself, okay. where you, the black oil and the, the oh, devils yeah. and all these wow. things. Wow. Okay. It's more like a, a, a old mass style. Okay. Oh, they used to do it a long time. Long time so ago, now, yeah. Now Back in, in the this days. modern time, they call it juve. Juve. Okay. You know, so that's Do you that participate in that or is that well, something I, different? I used to um, sing in a juve band called mm -hmm. Insomniacs for years. Oh, okay. You know, but yeah, but I no really longer take part of the carnival. Mm -hmm. My whole music vibe changed from the soca thing right now. So my music is more oriented, like, with influence with pop and hip hop. Pop and, and hip hop and culture, right? Yeah, or yeah, mix yeah, up. a whole fuse mm -hmm. of music I'm doing right now. Okay. And that's how that's why the labels started looking at me because of the difference that I was making. Okay. You know so that I mean? was something positive that you, mm -hmm. know, you took a, took another lane. Yeah. Okay. So when it, so we we will be looking out for you on the Labor Day on Eastern Parkway. Yeah. And, and I'm I'm gonna be in shows all over Brooklyn. And you're gonna be all yeah. over Brooklyn. And give and we're gonna get into your last track, which is Club on Fire. Yeah. We have a, a, a video for that. Yes. Tell us about Club on Fire. What Club made on, you do Club on Fire? Club on Fire is right after I um I came out of the Universal deal. I was signed with them for three years, just recording and mm -hmm. you know, it was too slow for me, you know, it's like they slowed down my career. Right. You know, so I had to get out of the deal. Because of the infighting with them and Red One. Mm -hmm. And I did Club on Fire. And then I came to New York and started my promotion. Okay. In and out all the time. Traveling here, yeah, Miami, yeah, yeah. Vegas, and it, all about. Uh, we did the video for the song 
a Times Square, Liberty Theatre, Times Square. Okay. You know, and got some interesting people in, in the mix. Okay. And we just keep pushing. So this is the um, Club on Fire. This is the song we push in along with Mash Up and Go. Okay. All right. So let's get into that track. Hey, Club it's your on favorite Fire. Aussie, KMC. You're listening to DSN, The Matrix Studios. 